I believe I saw Dark Pit. Yeah, I believe that is Dark Pit. That is a Dark Pit, okay. I'm trying to see the tag, it'll come up in like a few seconds. Now Mars does have a very in-depth um, knowledge. It's dead dozy. Uh, very like, very in-depth knowledge of this matchup playing against Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid has not been playing as much Pit recently, but uh, very, extremely prominent Pit player and uh, still very solid with the character. Yeah, I feel like Pit definitely has fallen off as this game progressed. He, he, Pit became, once again, a little too honest for their yeah. own good. Like, does everything well, but not busted. Like, it just doesn't have... But it's still a plenty good character to deal with the toolkit that you have from uh, Zero Suit. Zero Suit wants to short hop in, wants to constantly establish pressure. Dark Pit has a good amount of anti airs, and also that side B, very strong. So if you catch Mars slipping, you might be able to get another kill. All right, I like the last trump right there. Mars just like playing with aggressive play. That's what he's known for, mm -hmm. just taking these risks. And the back air right there going deep. Yeah, you know, when you have no hitbox on your recovery, you are going to expect Mars coming after you. And even if you do, he's willing to take position in those trades and for the sake of you dying. Pit can make it back very far, but that was a great call with that back air. All right. So that's just he play, doing a lot of down smashes. That's actually one of his fastest options. One of his better moves in the toolkit as well. Now, forward throw, yeah. also a kill throw still. But oh, actually going to get the anti air uh, on the landing as well. Going to put himself on the board. Yeah, he's keeping this relatively close, but Mars. It's not one to sleep on. That was an intelligent call that led to his demise later on. The side B kept him alive for once, but Mars is committed to the cause. He wants to make sure that he spikes you with that down B. All right. Nair, Nair. And Destiny, Destiny needs to, like, find a good long string to just come back. Because I don't know. Hey, Dark Pit has those. Like, Does he? Oh, yeah, no. Dark Pit has some of the best bread and butters um, in terms of just consistent damage. Like yeah. being able to down throw into up smash uh, follow ups or the near follow ups uh, into dare or the or dare follow ups into nair. Like there's plenty of damage potential. And you see he's starting to slowly rack it, catching Mars again on the landing with that side B. He's actually looking relatively solid. Especially after losing that lose, uh, early stock. Yeah. Sure. Oh no, never mind. Mar Mars is just attacking him. Yeah, Mars is trying to put on that pressure. He had the jump read there too, but he actually just barely missed. And I'll be out of shield. Just giving him positional advantage. He doesn't want to deal with that. That missed tech doesn't matter. Yes, well, yes, it did. That was great movement from Mars going back off stage with that cancel to get that back. He's like, no, I wasn't done with you yet. This is not over. You can never sleep free when it comes to playing against uh, Mars. Like, when, when you're off stage, expect him to arrive. Yo. Like, it is, it is going to be a bad time. You have to be very mentally prepared. And um, Dendozi not getting that tech. He needs to potentially look to have that the next time around. But I will give credit where credit's due, though. Dead Dozy was looking relatively solid, even when getting pressure. Yo, Mars has a fresh cut. He does. That, Not very often that, that I see him with that uh, looks, that, type that, of looks uh, that is clean. a different haircut. There we go. Kind of clean, Mars. That's yeah. the Panda Global haircut. <laughs> Sponsored it to fresh cut. And camera switch. All right, so going into game two here, Dark Pit uh, is still going to be the pick. Opting yeah. to go to Neo, uh, Unova. A little bit contro controversial for some, but I love this stage. You like this stage? I, I love think this the, stage. I think the stage is good. I just don't think it's going to do anything in this matchup. Um, well, in this matchup in particular, like, I don't, uh, Dendozi may be able to get some, some follow-ups, but this is actually really good for Mars because of the fact that he can bait out jumps very easy. And he doesn't even need to, you know, digging deep with that side B. Not going to get it. Do it again, though. What's he, is he going to go for a third time? Oh, side no. B is going to get him back. And then the up B. That is a zero to death clean stock. No damage on the board for Mars. That was awful. That was Yo, this, this is definitely <laughs> a fallen angel <laughs> right here. Uh, that is for sure. And he's going to side B his way back onto the right-hand side, trying to regain some positioning. Keldeo looking on, being displeased. But <laughs> Lord Keldeo. Yeah, see? Yep, yep. Was a little displeased, ran away. So, yeah. Dendozi did a good job of keeping his ground before, but now he's getting sharked in his landings a lot. And he's just putting out as much defense as he can, but that is destruct! Yeah. Never mind. What? Never mind. D D who? That, <laughs> I'm sorry, I had a cough. <laughs> All right. So, so, yeah, this Mars basically looks like he has the download on this player. There we go. That is the finish to the plate that we were looking for before. Um, sure. <laughs> yeah, agreed. You know, Dendozi was looking good in that first game, uh, kind of like regaining his footing. But in this in this follow-up here, Mars has just decided, you know what? I'm going to pressure you as much as I want. And I want you to let me know if you can actually stop it. 
And so far, he just cannot. And this has been just absolutely just. Oh my. Okay, never mind. I was going to say absolutely terrible, but yes. Close it out exactly how we expected him. Just going down all the way, forcing him to air dodge back. And then throughout the dare, that is all she wrote. Very swift victory coming in from Mars there in that game, too. That was. That was fast. That, that was like speed. Run. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Nice. Um, you know, again, for Dendozy though, um, go back, look at that game one, yeah. take the notes on what worked. We'll look at where you were able to stuff him out on the way that you were um, catching him on his aggressive approaches. Game two. Yeah, look at Mars. Look, look at, at your Mars. defense. <laughs> yeah, look at your defense, but look at Mars' adaptation yeah. to you. Because exactly. apparently he caught on to a lot of habits that you were doing and tried to see what, what he caught on to and fix that. 